Hello, I'm Bookload of the Dings, and welcome to Beef Quick Tips. Today I will show you what type inference is and how to use it in Beef. Instead of having to type the type name, you can just use a single dot instead, which will automatically be equated to the expected type. Keep in mind that this only works when the compiler can actually infer the type on its own. Here are some examples of how you can use it. When creating a new variable in a method, you can just use a dot instead of a second type name and save yourself some trouble typing it out, especially useful for long type names. It's also viable for casting a variable to the expected type since the compiler is what it wants and you also know what you want, so it works perfectly. Uh, the last use highlighted here, not that there aren't a lot of other uses, but you should try to find those for yourself and they're not quite as uh, hard to find, is enums. I've used a bit of C sharp and whenever I had to use the enums I cringe because their syntax is really horrible. Color.colors.red is not a good thing to type. This might have changed by now, I don't know. In beef, you can instead just write dot red. Before I leave you, uh, this is a last warning. The dot syntax isn't exactly readable, so it's pretty useful for simple scenarios, but when you create an inferred type object in a parameter, uh, it can get really messy at points, so keep that in mind and just write it out if it becomes too messy and too unreadable. Your future you will thank you for that. That was Beef Quick Tips, I'm Bookle of the Dings, and I'm out.